Yo, what's going on? Today's video, I got another subscriber requested video and stuff. Honestly, I would appreciate it if y'all keep these coming and stuff like that. Because honestly, I wake up with like multiple comments and stuff, and usually uh, suggestions for like the last few days keep them coming. Because it's like it's very easy because you guys are giving me ideas to then just make videos out of. But anyway, so this suggestion comes from Tario. He says, "How can I make a button that gives that gives you money and it saves when you leave and join?" This is pretty much a combination of data saving and, uh, well, really making a button that gives you money, like you said. Um, I made a video on data saving, which I will have, I will have uh, linked at the end of this video, and like the end thing. Um, but I haven't made a video with a button that gives you money. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright. First thing first, of course, we're going to set up the data saving and leader stats first, before we even start setting up the button. So, we'll call this our leader stats script, right? Then we will do local cache data store is equal to game get service data store service get data store cache data store 23. Now you guys don't have to put the numbers. I'm the reason I'm putting the numbers is keep in mind data stores do save unless you like will, like wipe the data. And obviously since like I've done a lot of tutorials and stuff where I've done multiple tutorials with data stores, it's more than likely. Like there's it's a like nine and ten chance that like I already have data saves to the data store that's regularly cached data store. But anyway, then we're gonna do enter twice. We're gonna do game dot players dot player added connect function in parentheses. We're gonna put PLR which is short for player. This is the SNC right there. Then we're gonna come come on the outside, press enter, and then um we are then going to do local leader stats. Make a variable. Well, two variables. We can do equals instance dot new folder then comma we're going to parent it to the player which is short for plr i'm going to do leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats right and then we're going to make our cache value we're going to do local cache is equal to instance dot new oh sorry number value comma leader stats then we're going to do cache dot name is of course equal to cache then cache dot value is equal to zero right and then and then here's where we run the protected calls. We're going to do local pcal. If, if you don't know this, oh, sorry, not local pcal. If you guys don't know this, what pcal stands for, a protected, a protected call, which means like it's like it's made so it's like in case it fails, it'll run it over and over again, as long as you like write it correctly. But anyway, we're going to do local success comma error message is equal to pcal function in parentheses. You're going to put close parentheses. Then on the outside, you're going to do enter, right? Then you're going to do local key. I like to use the player's user ID, but you guys can use something else if you want. If you want to use the username or nickname, I wouldn't really understand why you would want to do that. It's much more reliable to use the user ID, but it's up to y'all though. Yeah, we're going to press enter twice. Then we're going to do cache data store, get a sync, and then put key in, in here. I'm also going to turn this to a variable. I, I forgot to do that. We need local data is equal to, yeah, is equal to that, right? Then we're going, then we're going to do if data then cash dot value is equal to data one which which in other words is the first the first value within uh, the cash data store even though i mean the dash is only made for cash but that's besides the point right now you could have like a you could have like an else and then have like a like pretty much if they don't have that and set their cache to zero but there's not really a point in doing that because you guys see right here you see how it, how like when the when the player joins it automatically sets their cache to zero and then it says if they have data it will then change their their uh their like the cache value to like the saved value it's like it's pretty simple it's like this if everyone starts off with zero when they first join the game right and then it updates a person's cache based on if they have data if they don't have data it's going to remain at zero so it's already set by default to zero so you don't really have to worry about setting it anyway then we're going to come on out uh, right here and enter twice we're going to do while not success do then we're just going to copy and paste this last part boom jump right there we're going to throw in a wait so so that we don't obviously overload the data store request right and then we are going to, and then just like that, we have, we've set up data loading and like the actual stats itself. Now we're going to set up data saving, right? So, we're going to press enter. 
like twice, and then we're gonna do game that players this time players removing connect function the allow which is short for player, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do same thing as we did before. We're gonna do local success, comma error message is equal to pcal function. Right? Close parentheses, enter. Then we're gonna same thing. We're gonna get the key by doing local key is equal to player dot user id enter twice. And then um, we could really use set async. Well, we're gonna use set async. I'm thinking of using. I'm thinking of using the table like I. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna use the table. All right. So we're gonna do this right. So we're gonna do local data is equal to a table, right? Oh, sorry, I mean the these special brackets between a table, right? We're gonna press it, right? And then we're gonna do table dot insert, right? And then of course the table, which is data, and then the value, and then we're gonna do player dot leader stats dot cache dot value, right? And then we're gonna come out here. We're gonna say cache data store set async key. And then we're gonna set the data as our value. We're saving, we're saving it. Which pretty much you could, you could actually like do this, right? And then do like player dot leader stats, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? You could do it like that because they're both tables. But this besides the point, right? And then we're gonna do the same thing we did up here. Enter twice. Well, not success. Do same thing. And then of course just add a wait. You can choose how long you want it to wait for. Right, so we're gonna do that, right? Let's go ahead and just publish, right? Anyway, we are done we were done with the leader stats. <coughs> We've set up data saving and data loading. Now for since they asked for how to make a button that gives you money. Okay. So let's say you have a text button. So let's go over here to start a GUI, enter the screen GUI, right? And we'll call this our cache GUI. And we'll insert a text button. Right, we'll call this our cache button, and we'll do a little bit of customizing with it. You know what I mean? Of course, make it green. You know what I mean? Bold, rich text, scale text. Uh, I don't know. Make it like a hmm. No, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I think yellow and green. I think that's a little hard. I think that's a little hard. All right, all right. we gonna make it black, right? Like the the kind of outline or the stroke, whatever you want to call it, right? And then we're gonna say click to get money. Right. Then we're gonna insert a service script. Make sure you insert a service script here, not a local script, right? Because with a local script you'd have to use our mode event. Anyway. We're gonna say cash earner script, right? And then we're gonna do this. We're gonna do script that parent that mouse on click connect function parentheses. I mean close parentheses, enter, right? I'm going to do local player is equal to script. Now pay attention, parent, right? Dot parent. Now in actual game, instead of starter GUI, it would be player GUI, right? Dot parent. And then obviously the parent of the player GUI would be obviously the player itself. So boom. That's why it says data model, right? And then we're going to do player dot leader stats dot cache dot value. Is equal to play at least that's the cash that value plus we'll say one right and boom just like that we are done we can go ahead and test this too let's, let's go ahead mm, alrighty as you guys can see give no cash boom I'm earning cash by every time I click all right so we, we finished with 19 cash okay let me leave game all right, click play again. Let's hope it's saved. Kind of studio. Okay, there you go. Yeah, kind of studio reach up sometimes. Anyway, as you can see, there you go. The same the button where you can get money, earn money, and then when you press stop, it saves. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Tario, I hope this video was helpful for you and stuff. Uh, thank you for the suggestion and stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying your Christmas Eve. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys. Appreciate y'all for watching.